What is up YouTube? I am Eric and you are watching Retro Video Game Pickups. In this video, I'm going to tell you five things that you should spend your Christmas money on. So if you like games, consoles, or product reviews, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification. With that being said, let's hop into it. Okay, so you guys saw the thumbnail. You know that Christmas was yesterday. You've got some extra cash to spend, and now you're kind of thinking, well, what should I buy with that? I have five things that I want to show you guys that you can use these ideas and maybe get them exactly what I present to you, or maybe something similar that just may it be for a different console or for uh, something else, just depends on what it is. But I've got five things that I think would be great things that you spend your money on that will make your game collection or make your game room look nice or be more functional. So with that being said, I've got five things I'm bringing to you right now. So let's check out that first one. Okay, so the very first thing I have is this question block light. Uh, it's a, from Super Mario Brothers. Obviously, this thing is very awesome. It's pretty cheap actually. I think I paid like 12 bucks for this. It was on sale from Target when I did that, but I have two of these now. Uh, you may or may not have seen them in other videos. Occasionally you'll see them. They're not always prominent, but occasionally you'll see them in videos. But this is a very awesome question mark box. Basically what you do is uh, you plug it in and you're ready to go. You press down on it, it makes the little coin noise, and then it lights up. This thing is really cool, it's pretty cheap, and it actually works uh, to light up a bedroom or a video game room pretty well. Like, I have this uh, kind of in various areas because I have two of them, but I love the noise that it makes, and it's really awesome, and these things are really cheap. So if you're looking for something to go with your uh, game room or your bedroom that looks pretty cool, this is something you definitely need to check out. I will put a link in the description for all this stuff, but first off is this Super Mario Bros. Uh, question block light. I think these are really awesome and they work really well as lamps. So that's the first thing I think you should definitely spend your money on. Okay, so the second thing is something that I love and you guys have heard me talk numerous times about and that is the Brawler 64 gamepad by Retro Fighters. Retro Fighters make some of the best controllers by a third party that works well with your retro systems. This is the 64 version. Now they have others, like they have the Dreamcast one coming out. They have a Sega Genesis one that I want to review because I have one over here for you guys to see. But Retro Fighters, uh, the, the Brawler 64 controller is my favorite controller to use for the Nintendo 64. And if you guys have used one, you guys understand why. This is a great setup. I love the stick up on the top left there you've got your d-pad your a b your c buttons your start your turbo and your clear and then you've got the z button and the r and the l button like honestly this is a perfect perfect controller for the nintendo 64. now i have heard that this controller uh doesn't work for some games but i've never experienced that honestly uh, i could see probably having issues with it if you have to use like the d-pad and the stick at the same time but honestly i've never run into that problem so i definitely want you guys to say hear about that and also know that i recommend this highly i've used it so much you guys have probably seen it in videos or in content that i've posted definitely think about this because this controller is top notch the next thing i'm going to bring up is 8-bit do controllers now this is the new light uh, Game Boy, or not Game Boy, a Bluetooth gamepad. Uh, this works with the Nintendo Switch. But honestly, this is any 8-bit do controller. These things are awesome. They always make things that are top of the notch. They're always great. They work well. You can upgrade the firmware on them. You can get so many different 8-bit do controllers. And this is one that I just picked up. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet but I will do a video about this thing here in the upcoming future because I really want you guys to know what I think of it. But this is one of those things that I love. 8BitDo is always, always, always creating great controllers and they really put in the time and effort. They even have adapters that go well with their controllers 
that will plug into systems that you can use wirelessly. Like they have an NES adapter and an SNES adapter and maybe a Sega Genesis one where you can plug it in and then use one of their wireless uh, Bluetooth controllers. Absolutely love these things. They're so comfortable and they always have great functionality in it. They're rechargeable so you can recharge the batteries. You can do basically everything that you could want from a controller. 8BitDo brings it to you with this one. So definitely check out 8BitDo controllers. If you need a controller that you're gonna depend on or something that's gonna be very awesome, 8-Bit Do is one that you should definitely pick up. So this next one is a bit of a weird thing to say and let you guys know, but I want you to know that you should definitely pick these up, especially if you have handhelds, and those are cases or protectors. Now, here I have a Game Boy Color protector just to kind of show it off as a good um, thing that you should be looking for. Look for cases or protectors, whether it's a Game Boy, a uh, DS, a 3DS, and a Switch, a PlayStation Vita, a PlayStation a PSP, whatever it is, if it's portable and you can take it with you, definitely look into getting a case. Uh, this is well worth it for the Game Boy if you want to keep your Game Boy Color in great condition. This is definitely what you want to get. And I have a bunch of these, so I wanted to show you guys what they look like because you should definitely get one for your uh, system, whatever it is. If it's a Sega Nomad or a Sega Game Gear, pick up a case, get a screen protector, make sure that your stuff is protected. That way, if you take it out, you can use whatever you want. Like right here, I've got a Nintendo Switch case. I use this thing, I put my Switch in it, and I basically am not afraid of dropping this because even if I drop this, my Switch is going to be protected and, and I'm not going to be afraid of it breaking. So definitely think about cases or protectors when you're looking for something to buy with your Christmas money because it will save you a ton of headache when you drop that and oh wait I've got a protector on it and it is definitely well worth it because it is still working so definitely pick up a case or a protector of some sort that way your systems do not get broken and last but not least I'm talking about pixel pals and I, I love these things you guys See, I've got a bunch up here behind me. Pixel Pals are awesome, and this is actually one that I got last Christmas. I have not taken it out of the box because it was on the shelf like this with the box, but these things are awesome. They light up, and you can even get uh, like uh, packs that work that you can plug them in. Uh, these things are awesome. They've, you've got a ton of different characters. Here's a Mortal Kombat character. Back behind me, I've got Sonic. I've got Mario, I've got Link, I've got a ton of them, honestly, I don't even remember them all. I've got a uh, Luigi over there, I've got some more somewhere else, I think they're down here, they're, they're all over the place, honestly, but these things are very awesome. I am so happy that PDP makes these things, these are always awesome, they're always making new ones that I think are absolutely ridiculous. These things are something that I think of as like amiibos, but these are a little different. With that being said, I want to talk about one last thing, and that's Amiibos. You guys can see them. I've got them all over this place. Like, honestly, Amiibos, Amiibos, Amiibos. I love them. You guys know they work well with um, your games. They inter interact with games uh, depending on what Amiibo you get. Depends on what they do in certain games. But honestly, I wanted to talk about that to you. This is the, the free one. This was going to be a five video, but I decided to make it six. Why Why not? Like, seriously, this is the bonus for you. Amiibos. They're not that expensive, 10 to $12 usually, and you can get some of your favorite characters. I've got the Link's Awakening one off screen over here, and every time I see it, I'm like, that's an awesome Amiibo. I also have the Solaire over here. I've got a ton of them. Like, there's some in this closet back behind you guys. I love the Amiibos and I think they're great. So here is five plus a bonus of things that you should spend your money on for Christmas. They're a ton of fun and all this is very awesome. Whether you're talking about the light block, whether you're talking about the controllers that I talked about, the case protectors, or the Amiibos or the Pixel Pals, whatever it is, if you guys like gaming material, you guys are watching the right channel. This is all about retro stuff and the new stuff as well. But I wanted to stay, take this time right after Christmas. I'm still dressed in Christmas gear. You guys understand it. 
but I want you guys to know of some cool things that you can use your Christmas money on that's not going to cost you very much. Like I think the most expensive thing here was one of those controllers and they weren't that expensive. So with that being said, I want you guys to comment down below and let me know what you are buying with your Christmas money or what you got for Christmas. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification because it lets you know when I post more videos, which is every Tuesday, every Thursday, and every Sunday, Saturday, Saturday. Sorry about that. And occasionally I'll do some Monday ones. I'm talking way too fast for this video. So I want to end it by saying this. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you have a good day and a Merry Christmas.